Hey there mini wargamers, welcome to Seasick Pirate Studios. My name is Curtis and in this episode we're going to be unboxing a Benari Banner Blade for the Lumineth Realm Lords. So the second wave of Heishi's Light is upon us. With that, Games Workshop have released some awesome new miniatures to help you bolster your army to defend the realms against Undead, Chaos and all the other Griblies that want to kill your elves. So one of these units is the Venari Bannerblade. If you like running Venari like I do, this guy is a must have in your army. So let's crack this box and check out the kit. So like with all kits, it comes with an instruction manual. This also has its rules in there as well, if you haven't got the battle tome or you haven't got your cards. But we're going to pop this to one side for the meantime, and we're going to check out the kit. So this miniature comes on a 40 millimeter base. It'll cost you 21 English pounds from Games Workshop and is cast in plastic. So the kit itself comprises of 12 components with an option to build it with a helmeted head or a bare head. So this model is absolutely packed with detail, like all the runes on the armor. We've got all of the tassels on the banner belt and along the edges of the banner and at the bottom of the cloak as well. All the soul gems in the plume, even the flags on top of the banner as well. This model is really, really nice and will stand out on the battlefield. So we're going to put him together and see what he looks like built. Our Venari Banner Blade is built and he looks awesome. Standing at 14 centimeters tall, this model towers over normal infantry and really stands out amongst other units. The model goes together really nicely and all the parts fit together well. The banner pole is strong and the weight of the mini is nicely centered. If you want extra insurance, you can always pin the banner with some brass rod. As detail goes, the images on the banner are well defined, so painting it, you won't lose any of those details. The only concerns I do have with the Mini are the flags on top. They are quite brittle and if not stored or transported correctly, I can see them snapping. But all in all, this sculpt is amazing. The attention to detail, the pose, the scale of the banner. I rate this model a solid 8 out of 10. And if you're thinking of collecting Lumineth or already have an army, this model is a must have. If you want to see more painting tutorials and unboxings, please check out my channel. Like, subscribe and leave a comment on how you would rate this mini. Take care and we'll see you next time. 